final polish on turquoise. I use Zam. So wait, let me see if I can't find a Zam. I wish I had a bigger tube, a little bit more full, uh, so that you can see the full logo because it's hard to mistake Zam. Uh, this is a compound polish that I use on my Rotary Flex Chef tool um, with a soft, soft wheelhead. So for turquoise, the reason why I kind of want to make sure that you understand that these are soft and flexible if you run at a high speed and really press down on the turquoise with Zam, you can burn the turquoise ruining the finish. So then you have to sand it and then you have to refinish it. Um, you want to lightly apply the Zam. You don't want to go at a full speed. You want to be able to control your rotary tool and it will give you the finish that you desire. It is the best finish that I've ever seen. This piece of turquoise here and I will switch you screens. This piece of turquoise here, this is a 1200 grit. You can see actually it looks polished, doesn't it? It's a 1200 grit finish. But see how this, the light actually shines on it and it disperses and catches some of the, the grind marks. It just doesn't look right. So we're going to use Zam. What I do is take my rotary tool, fill it with Zam, and really Zam is pretty cheap stuff. This is one time that I would say run your rotary tool in it to get the, the wheel head on the Zam on the wheel head um, because Zam's cheap. It is awesome stuff. So now I am just going to run the turquoise piece around it in the Zam. And I'm lightly, I'm like hardly even pressing on this. And I'm not going at a full 100% speed. Because I know I can burn my turquoise, it's happened. Of course, always on accident, but you know. And I just kind of like roll it around. It does lightly take off a little bit of the turquoise. So if you stay in one spot, I mean, you can misshape the cab, but more than likely not. It doesn't take off that much. All right. That's about all it should take. And I'm going to wipe this off before I show it to you because it's still going to have Zam residue on it. Voila. Zam, look at that. See how now the light reflects on that beautifully. Getting this in focus is always kind of a pain in the butt. Sorry, guys. So that is how you use Zam. Zam, I'll put a link in Amazon for Zam and uh, soft flex wheels. I had um, an issue trying to find a seller on Amazon for these, so I'll try to leave a link for those. But, you know, if you're a jeweler and you're ordering cabs from a, a cab artist and they send you cabs that aren't totally finished or have a finish that you dislike, try Zam and finish your stones.